What's up, everyone? We are at Chipotle today. Hey. We are doing a real review today. I know it's been a minute since we did one, but today we are reviewing the Chicken Al Pastor Keith Adilla, which is like this new item they got at Chipotle. It's supposed to be like dad fast exclusives and stuff. I'm going to wait for you to pop them tops, too, because, you know, they got extraness on them, so I'm going to wait. But, I'll have um, that. Right, I'm waiting for you to pop that top. Don't 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 show it now. Don't show it. Let me take off the tops. I'll stare at some vitamins okay. while she pop them tops. But um basically it's this new item, Dash Pass exclusive. I don't know who this Keith Adela person is. I don't know if he's like a rap artist or whatever, but So yeah. this right here is the original bowl. You know you get your bowl. I always love my bowl with lettuce, cheese, tomato salsa. Um, sour cream what I get pinto beans and brown mm -hmm. rice that's how I get it every time I don't want nothing spicy on my stuff I want fajita veggies that's a little spicy oh now, that sounds good yes that's how I hooks it up I see them pinto beans up in there now this is the Keith Adilla. This is the Keith Adilla. This would be my first quesadilla I'm eating from Chipotle so let's start it off with something special the missing one Oh, that's, or is that what it comes with? Oh, maybe this is where this goes. True. Because it comes with that. Now, let me tell y'all what's in here real quick. Out of all the ones, there's three of them in total. Three new items from Chipotle. And this one has chicken al pastor, fajita veggies, roasted chili corn salsa, sour cream, and Chipotle honey vinaigrette. So, yeah, that's supposed to go in there with that. And I guess what you do, just like dip it. Like, how do you do yours? Because I've seen you eat one before, but I don't really. So I never had one. I normally get their tacos or their bowls, but I wanted to do something new for y'all. When it comes to huh, quesadillas, when it comes to Chipotle, I so like the them. corn. Would you just put the corn in there and stuff the corn? So you can do it two different ways, right? You can take your toppings and stuff it all in there so it's already done when you eat. Or you can add it as you go. And dip? Or dip. You know, dip it in the sauce and add the corn as you go. Mm. Or, you know, scoop it on as you go. Or just stuff it all in there. But it just will be sometimes so fat that it'll get messy. So I like to add it as I go instead of just stuffing it all in at once. Okay. It's up to you, though. All right. Well, I've been finna figure this out. As long as I taste everything, I'm going to do this. And you definitely need a fork or a spoon. <laughs> and give me one moment so I can set myself. All right, y'all. We're back. We're back with the goods. We got the sour cream. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is pour this up in here in the tray. Might as well show y'all that up close. The Chipotle honey. Oh, well, mm. I didn't know that's what that was. Mm, smells really good. So let me go ahead pour this on in there. I've never had the Chipotle honey sauce. Is that new? Yeah, I guess it only really comes with this if you get this. Stir this around a little bit. Stir that sour cream around a little bit. I wish I would have grabbed me a napkin. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bite normal. You know, want to get a normal I, I can, bite first? All right, let me get it. I know <laughs> he just did that with one hand. <laughs> Okay, let me take a normal bite first before I get to adding and stuff. Again, the chicken look nice. I can see the veggies inside. The tortilla feels pretty thick. Smells good. So let's get a good little bite out the middle with the gun. Mm. Mm-hmm. You liking it? These flavors totally remind me of Chipotle flavors. Yeah. That's not a bad thing, though. Now, let me get the corn. Yes. I'm just going to add a little bit. If I make a little mess, it's okay. I'm it's clean. okay. That's how I do it. Damn it, I'm dropping it in the damn goodness. <laughs> and as you go, that's how I love to do it. I just want to add a little something. It make your bites just that much potent. Just, mmm. Like, look at that. I dropped a little corn right there. Honestly, when you do that, though, it seems to last throughout the whole quesadilla. I'm just trying to be quick. Like I said, if I make a little mess, give me a little sour mess. cream. Just mess. slap it on top real quick. 
get a little bit of this because I want to tell y'all what I think with everything together. So far, so good, normal, but it do need Some a little shit. extra to it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all see all the goodness right there. Okay, that's everything. Mmm. Mmm. Said mmm before you even taste me. You know that's about to be good. Let me see that close up real quick. You see them vegetables? That's a lot of meat and everything in there. That looks great. Mmm. I gotta taste that with that. Yeah, good sauce. taste. I think this is gonna be a good review. Mmm. I think it's gonna be a good one. What you thinking? I think the best part of the whole thing is this. Really? This sweet? Mm-hmm. It's really good with that sour cream and that chicken and that corn. It's not really too hot or too spicy. It's a little sweet, but then it's it's still savory with the chicken. So it's like a great combination. I'll take one more bite. Mm. You can show them your bowl if you want. I will. I want to mm. check that out a little bit. Like a nice little, little meal problem. It do. I, I would love to get that, right? I think of back in the day, back in the day at school, getting that. Let me let me go back to my little bowl over here. Yes, I have a fork. I have tasted <laughs> it already. <laughs> yes, I do. Where's my chicken at? It's somewhere. There we go. I see them vegetables, boy. Them fajita vegetables. I don't normally get them, but I like them. I like the fajita and vegetables. This. It's not too hot. Give yourself a little kick and a little bit of a little bit of health. Okay, um, well, appearance wise, it was pretty good. Appearance wise, it looked good. Chicken looked good. Everything looked good. Price wise, not bad. But Chipotle wise, on on dance pass, this is like eleven bucks. Not really that bad, if you ask me. Taste wise, this is great. Everything together is great, man. I I'm not sure if it'll be a ten though. Really? Cause it's good, but I'm not sure if it's one of them type of flavors that everyone would like, like everyone, but it's good. It's definitely good enough to be a nine. Okay. I would give this a nine out of 10. Would you add anything else? Hmm. Is there any side that you would get? Dang, I think guac would probably really set it off. Or if it was a little more cheesier. Mm. I think I would like it too if it was a little bit more cheesier. Usually but, quesadillas have a lot of juice. Yeah, but not bad and definitely unique. The flavor is the best part about it with everything together. So, yeah, y'all get a 9 out of 10 for me. So, oh, that's not bad. I had to come back, give y'all a little nice review. We haven't done it in a while. Something new, because that's what I've been waiting on too, to do something new. And this is new. So, I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all have a good day. And you know we finna get on. You or y'all already know what it is. Yes, sir. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I can't wait to try that myself. Yeah, I guess we gonna get going, the heck out of here. All right. We'll see y'all later. Peace out, everyone. Peace out. Peace out.